Hey everybody, it is Professor Parrish and we're on English 109. <laughs> so I am recording the video, I'm gonna scroll down here, recording the video for module 13, which is this week's module coming up. So, so the good news is I do have a couple high schools that are gonna be going on spring break uh, the next several weeks. So I've gone ahead and you'll notice on here that if you've not done module 12 assignments, those are due April 3rd. So you see a little due date here. Um, and I always go to modules to check out these assignments because I like things organized in like a nice little list per week. And so we've got these assignments that are due by April 3rd, Sunday. And so we're, I'm going to talk about this week's assignments, which is uh, the discussion forum and grammar review. You will notice that this last week was all about our narration prep. I am going to look at those drafts this weekend, um, but, and next week, but you are going to get an extra week to work on the paper. So yay, you're going to get an extra week to work on that narration paper, and it's not going to be due until Sunday the 17th. So you do get an extra week. You'll also notice that um, module 14 is next week's module is already open. All the assignments are there. I've updated everything, so everything's good to go. And I've also went ahead and opened, uh, or module 15 will open on Sunday. So I know some schools have some spring breaks that y'all are gonna be on. So as of tomorrow, everything will be opened up and up until March, up until module 15, which will be due April 24th. So we're gonna talk about module 13, but if you get these assignments done, you can move forward and work on the next two modules if you want. The only thing that I ask, um, and some of you have already turned in your paper, so that's on you, <laughs> but um, if I've not looked at your peer review, maybe wait until I do that before turning in your narration paper. So some of you have already done that, so that's okay, you've taken a risk. <laughs> but I guess if I give you your feedback and you decide to change something, you can always resubmit to the narration drop box. But um, I would recommend waiting until I've read your draft and gave you feedback and you've gotten feedback from your peers before you submit into the module 14 drop box. I'd wait. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and work on the grammar reviews, the reading responses, the discussion forums, that's great. But um, I would wait to turn that narration paper in that's due April 17th, I would wait until it, at least you get some feedback from me and your peers. Um, but if you've already turned it in and you feel confident, good on you. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully nothing that myself or your peers say will have been something you hadn't already thought of for your paper. So, but I do want to briefly talk about module 13. It's a very short module this week. I mainly want you to focus on a couple of things uh, along with the module guide. So I'm going to pull this up here. So you have uh, chapter 20 in our textbook and then the discussion forum and grammar review number six. I would also add to this, I know it doesn't explicitly say this on the module guide, but I would add the fact that um, this week, obviously work on your narration paper and the feedback that you get from myself and your peers. And then also if you are thinking about revising your compare and contrast papers, those have been returned to you at this point with feedback. So you can make those edits and then just email me the revised copies, all right? So if you want to revise uh, paper number uh, two, you have this week to work on that. But that's pretty much it for that. Let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the grammar review first and talk about it and then save the discussion form for last. Uh, so the grammar review is pretty straightforward. It's all dealing with choosing well or good. <laughs> well or good and choosing the correct word. So it is, it is a very straightforward grammar assignment. It's super easy. Um, I know the last couple of grammar reviews we've had have been a little bit difficult. And so I wanted to give us something that's pretty basic and straightforward. So for numbers one through five on page 480, you're gonna either choose well or good. And this sounds easy, but where we live at geographically, I feel like oftentimes we say the wrong word. We don't say well when we should say well, and we don't say good when we, should, when we say good. I always think of 30 Rock, of uh, Tracy Morgan's character on 30 Rock. He's like, Superman does good, you do well. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I always look back on that quote, I love it. But that's numbers one through five. And then on page 481, you're choosing the correct word from the parentheses to finish out the sentence. So shouldn't be hard, should be pretty straightforward, a pretty easy assignment for that grammar review. And then talking about the discussion forum. So I'm wanting to preface argument, and some of you have already uh, watched this video and uh, responded to it, so that's awesome. But basically, what this is doing is talking about narration and talking about unreliable narrators. And so narration is the paper that we're working on right now, and there is the use of unreliable narrators oftentimes. 
that stories can choose. And that's when your narrator isn't exactly someone that the reader can trust. And so this video kind of talks about unreliable narrators, um, what the differences are between them. And I'm asking you as the class in the discussion forum to, to one, talk about those differences and explain what your favorite example from the video is. Um, two, is an unreliable narrator a good idea for a story or a bad idea? Would you use one in your own writing? So I'm curious to know if you would actually use an unreliable narrator. I think it could be fun. It would be difficult, but I would, I'd probably want to try it just to see, because I think it leads to some really cool plot twists where you're like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. And I think it could be interesting. And then three, Lindsay talks about how we ourselves can be unreliable narrators. How can you relate to that? So it's kind of the idea of accessing memory, talking about point of view, perspective, like what can we see that others can't see and what do we not see that others do see. So I'm curious to know what you think about that question and how you yourself could be an unreliable narrator. And that's pretty much those three questions there. So it's a pretty straightforward video. It's only like eight or nine minutes. It's not very long. But um, for this week, I just wanted us to kind of do something a little bit more straightforward and give you time this coming week, week 13, give you time to digest and go through the comments you've received on your narration drafts and then work on it this week and next week to get that paper exactly how you want it before turning it in. So... I may go ahead and record next week's video and have it in the module guide to go ahead and have it for you. I think I might, I've got some time this weekend, I might go ahead and record it. So you may go ahead and see the module 14 uh, lecture video uh, when it opens up, but I'll talk about those assignments, uh, the writing prep for argument paper and narration paper. I'll talk about all of that next week. So, or the writing prep for argument and then our narration paper being due. But with module 13, if you have any questions for this coming week, please email me and let me know. Um, our speech team at SIC is going to nationals. We're having Fire Pie. It's our national speech competition, and it is going to be in St. Louis this year. So I've actually signed up to be a judge for it. So I'm going to be gone all week to Fire Pie judging, but I do have some time in between rounds that I can get on my computer and check things. So if you have a question, please feel free to email me and let me know and I can get back to you about that. But if you've not turned in your stuff for module 12, make sure you get it done by tomorrow. Um, and otherwise you can go ahead and start on week 13 and you can work on week 14 and 15 if you've gotten that done too. So if you have any questions, let me know. But otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Please stay safe, take care. And yeah, I'll be back uh, very soon to talk to you all about module 14.